Hey, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out Yenna. She is back. Oh my god, what is she doing for us this time? Um, probably some rock event. Well, maybe if it's on the town track, it's in the album. Uh, but anyway, so excited to be checking this out. I love her music. I love her concepts. I love her so much. Um, so now we got in Hongo, it says Nemo Nemo, but in English, it looks like Nemo Nemo because that's how we know Nemo Nemo. Uh, we know Finding Nemo, and Nemo was found. Uh, and then it was finding, well, we're not gonna get into the Nemo lore here. We're not. Um, but I'm so excited to check this out. This is a little later than expected because I worked on set for one day last week. And when I was, like, that's the thing about working in the movies and the television is that, like, I could be asked tomorrow if I need to work for, like, the next six months that I gotta be like, yes, I need the money. Um, but yeah, so there was that. And then I also went to the DPR concert, um, Ash whale um in new york city and i was gone for like four days and then like yesterday i wanted to record but then my, like my wi-fi went out the night before and then i was just like <gasps> am i not gonna have wi-fi am i gonna have to call like xfinity to come through um and then in the morning i woke up the wi-fi was fine after fighting with it for like hours but anyways we are here now and we're gonna be checking out yena so let's not waste any more time and you know would it like go you know Oh, it is demo. Okay. Okay, I'm in love with the hair. Oh, she is a lot more poppy. Girl, this is like G Fred pop girl. But that whole section was. Okay, production value. It's definitely leading to like the cutesy, playful Yena vibe. Which we have not gotten in a second, so this is nice. Oh my god! I'm loving the fits. <laughs> She's so cute! Okay, that outfit and the space buns are... Well, I'm in love. What does Nemo Nemo mean? Oh! Don't make it Minecraft world, please. That trailer was terrifying. <laughs> Go get your man, girl. <laughs> Die of embarrassment. And the choreography is so cute. This is cute. Wait, how are they doing it? Is this it? Oh! <gasps> Girl, been there so many times. Oh my god, Yenna gets me. But her styling is still like... Elaine's alternative. Slash like... So it's so cool to kind of get that like punkish alternative vibe from Yana and like the outfits even if the song isn't giving that. We love. We love. So clean, so nice. Cute. Oh, but he sees Yenna. Hard eyes. Oh. And it's so cute. Everything is like. And the, these are the rock horns. Are they together now? Oh, who is it? She said, keep the box on. That was just running away. Love is wine. Oh my god, for real. Who's watching the latest season? It is, oh, I have opinions. I have thoughts. Oh, that's cool. And her logo for this comeback is blocky. That's really dope. I'm in love with this. There's so much to love about it. I feel like Yenna, 
Oh, I love her so much because she kind of gets me, right? Because it's like, I love, like, metal and, like, I like to dress alternative and emo child from like I grew up in that era, you know what I mean? Um, the neon green with the neon pink, it was so good with the zebra print. That was literally my everything growing up. Um, so I'm like, okay, I have like that side of me, right? But then I also love like K-pop and I love the cutesy concepts and I love that. And I feel like Yana like channels that in such a really cool like balanced way um, that I love. So I'm like, Yana, girl, she, she just like, Oh, she she gets it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you look at those two things and they could be like opposites. You know what I mean? But kind of like seeing them together the way Yenna does it, it makes me just like fall in love with her so much because I'm like, oh no, this is how I am and that's how she is. So I'm like, I feel sane and validated and it's like, ah, you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like a lot of people are like that too as well. But um, I don't know. They're just I'm just like Yenna gets me. You know what I mean? Like. We, we, we get each other, you know, um, and I think it's really cool and again like she's known for doing like a bunch of like punk and kind of like the rock sort of sound within her music. I'm sure it's in the b-sides if it's not a single, right? I think it's an album. Um, which she always says she always has so and she's always really showcased that side of her within her music you know what i mean with certain songs a little bit more than others but i also love how she um okay there are two b-sides as always with yana um but i also love how she expands within different sounds and different concepts and she doesn't always stick to kind of just like one thing but kind of that like kind of just like cute seeing this but then also with like that punkish kind of alternative vibe well I, I, I would say like a little bit more punkish than like well yeah like poppy punk you know what I mean uh pop punk best way to describe it um that she kind of like still will always have that and that's what is so consistent throughout like her music and her or her like her visuals and like whatever you know that um I really love and appreciate because if that's what you love that's kind of like I think I see what like is like the core value of her because it is so consistent across all her different various types of comeback and her sounds and her everything you know um so that's always really cool to get and i feel like here it was more present at least with like the styling like dressing a lot more alternative um to sort of kind of still have that there uh, for because it, it is such like a poppy sound um and it sort of has like breakdowns like a like an old school g friend track you know what i mean that's what i was kind of hearing there so it was just like cool to get that um not to compare them at all but like i think yeah that i just hit me and i'm just like oh my god is this what am I listening to? You know, um, I'm trying to think of the track. Whatever. Um, but anyways, I think it was amazing. Um, I think the track was so fun and it's so poppy and it's really cool, you know, kind of just like get that side from her. Um, cause she can do what can be in our sad emo feels, but then also we can be this at the same time. You know what I mean? The duality is what we love. Um, and I loved it. I think the track was really cute and really fun and not like when she's doing like the very poppy thing, she does a lot more the cute thing. So I think it's great. And then also these are like the devil ones for like rock and roll, you know what I mean? But then she's also using it in her choreography and I'm like, is that intentional or is it just cause it's cute? You know what I mean? mean um and I think it was absolutely amazing the choreography was cute as well um and her choreography is always really good and I mean this was no exception to that and it definitely works for just like the cutesy vibe and the story with the music video was so cute she has a crush on the boy and then um he kind of gets distracted by the other girl and then she sort of wins him back and then he takes off the backhand and she's like keep it up <laughs> she is so real for that you know what I mean she is so real for that and I remember, it reminded me of Love is Blind because the new season just came out so I'm um, eating it up and I just I have opinions girl um but yeah so but I really loved it I think it was great the choreography looked really cute and fun the music video concept was amazing and visually it looked really great and I kind of like the whole like boxy sort of world with it and sort of that sort of concept within like the choreography but also like the visuals and the, her logo name that was really really cool um and not as horrifying boxy cgi as that minecraft trailer i that thing is gonna crash and burn and i'm gonna love every single second of it because it looks horrendous and that is like you can fix like sonic right but you, i don't know if you can fix any of what they did um but anyways i'm in love we're not we're not talking about that we're talking about miss yana here miss yana slade so the song was cute and amazing i loved it it was so fun it was so upbeat it gives give me the energy give me the energy we could definitely play yana and choose what was it strawberry rush I don't know, I think Strawberry Rush is too different sounding, but like that sort of like cutesy K-pop pop music that's sort of like, ooh, I don't know, is it coming back? Please, this is 
what's amazing. Um, but I love this. Go to Peter Vlogs and comment down below. I loved it. It was all good. Everything was amazing. Your thoughts, comment down below. Check out Yenna's Nemo Nemo. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, or description down below. Or at the end screen, if you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica. Currently playing uh, Resident Evil and the Silent Hill 2 remake. So I hope you could join me over there for that. It's spooky season, so we play spooky games. Your thoughts, comment down below. Um, Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.